Hello and welcome to the time lapse for my Kiwiana drawing. I did this drawing for my friend who turned 30. He lives in Stockholm and he's also from New Zealand. So I planned this drawing first by using uh, my iPad and sort of sketching different little icons and, and things and then putting it together to see what the uh, final layout would be the composition of it and then I started using my pro markers which I think this is one of the first times of me using these specific markers a little bit of a funny story I started buying them when I was in Poland because I thought I was buying Copic markers which are a really famous marker from Japan and they're known for their quality as well as the fact that you can refill the colors um, and it's a really popular marker uh, especially amongst people who do cartoons or manga or all that sort of stuff because uh, the quality is so good and also their color range is always available so you don't have to worry about falling in love with a specific marker and it no longer being sold which can be a real pain when you're an artist and you find something that works really well so sort of the heritage of it and all that makes it very popular so I wasn't buying those I was buying um, the Windsor and whatever the second part of the brand name is I was buying those which is sort of a cheaper alternative that has come out not by the same company um, by a different company uh, sort of I would say uh, selling themselves as a cheaper option because Copic markers are very expensive um, in comparison with other similar markers um, and so my thoughts on the pro markers are actually that they they worked really well and I was actually really surprised at how well they sort of blended together I know in the sky you can really see the streak marks but on some of the other parts of the drawing I was really impressed how well the ink uh, set itself on the page so it really seemed to settle down quite nicely against the other colors so let's talk about the kiwiana aspects of this drawing so i picked some kiwi classic treats on the side there you can see i have done squiggles biscuits lolly cake uh, pineapple lumps, choc ch uh, orange choc chip ice cream and a um, chocolate fish. At the very bottom you can see just a little bit of boysenberry ripple ice cream. So when I was doing this drawing and planning it out I probably should have done a color board because I didn't realize how much brown I would need to use and brown isn't exactly the most exciting color so I did have to improvise a little bit later on because I was thinking oh my gosh this whole thing is just going to be brown and then a beautiful sky and it's just not going to be exciting. So right now I'm working on Lamington, Lamingtons which actually did uh, help bring a pop of pink. Uh, so Lamingtons come in two flavors uh, raspberry or strawberry probably strawberry and chocolate and then it's filled with a sort of sponge cake and they are of course a uh, popular um, New Zealand treat. Uh, then at the bottom I was doing uh, gold rush ice cream which is my favorite as a kid. So then I have the bottles of LMP, Marmite, Pinky Bars. So these are things that are really common in New Zealand and um, LMP and Marmite are made in New Zealand. And then we got some Shrewsbury biscuits, which I know are uh, popular in England as well. Um, but that is definitely something that you'll remember in your childhood so I definitely had to put those in there then I wanted to do a V energy drink because um, 
one night when I was calling my mum, she was drinking a V energy drink and um, I just sort of googled it and it turns out it's a New Zealand brand. I think it's um, been sold or is owned by uh, a, a huge drink company but um, it originates in New Zealand um, and that was actually quite a surprise for mum, myself and a friend who I mentioned it to at a party. Then I have the Jaffas running down the mountain and that's actually a reference to the Jaffa race that happens in Dunedin, the steepest residential road in the world and they roll Jaffas down there. Um, I can't remember if I've actually been to that event but I have walked up that hill and I lived about uh, five minutes walk from that super steep street and it's actually a little bit scary walking up because sometimes I have dreams where I'm like at the top of a really big street and I just sort of start sliding down and into traffic and getting hit by a car but this is not a sad video so I'll leave that for another time. So yes, then I am able to work on the title letters which I was really looking forward to but I thought if I'm doing a video like this I have to wait till the end because it's kind of like the, the icing on top of the cake. So I did wait and this was another opportunity to introduce um, <laughs> like non-brown colors um, so I really took that and I tried to sort of integrate um, the colors of the sky into the letters um, and I think I do that pretty well but you guys be the judge soon um, we got some nice snow on the mountains oh yeah I should mention that the mountain is Mount Cook or Auraki and uh, I'm not even sure if it really looks like it but I did try and make it look as close to that specific mountain as possible. Oh man it was such a relief getting up to this part of the drawing so I did all of this in one night and that's pretty unusual for me to be honest um, considering, considering it's an A3 size drawing. Um, quite a bit of work but it was definitely worth it um, except that my friend hasn't really commented on it since his birthday so I don't even know if he likes it and like I didn't get to see him open it or anything so I have no idea. With the stars, um, the star logo is a Pascal logo, it doesn't use those colours but that was a reference to the company so I've been writing Pascal and different um, lollies from their assortment so pineapple lumps for example uh, wine gums and all that sort of stuff so I just did this in the last minute and trying to be super cute and creative having the stars hang from the well not from the sky but like from the beyond the sky really um, but yeah so one of my favorite um, Kiwi lollies would be uh, fruit bursts to be honest and that's um, in the Pascal range they are just like oh, the flavor is so intense and tangy and delicious that it just it's so good so that sort of stuff I definitely miss from New Zealand and hopefully my friend also misses them and appreciates um, the different ones that I chose so now I'm doing the last bits of line work which is important because the drawing can end up looking quite messy to be honest if you don't have uh, sort of strict boundaries um, between different uh, components and with this drawing I wasn't sure if I would need to do uh, line work um, because it was one of my first times using these pro markers um, but at the end of it I did realize that that would be a really good idea so that's what I'm doing now the final bit of the drawing and you can't really do line work before you're finished because if you try and draw um, like a title or something using line work 
and then you go over with a pro marker or any sort of marker it makes it really likely that the uh, line work will bleed in and um, just make it really messy and not what you want at all so why line work does have to come last unfortunately um, yeah so I'm doing the V logo which I couldn't do before because I was using um, a black liner marker and now I'm just tidying up the LMP bottle and I'm almost finished so thank goodness Oh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed the uh, time lapse. I know that I need to find a better angle for filming. I really tried to get like a good top down view of the drawing, but I just didn't manage it. And I don't know how all these YouTubers do that. So I got to figure that out. Um, apart from that, I'm thinking about doing prints of this drawing. I'm not sure yet um, but I have uh, done what I need to do in order to make that a possibility in the future so be on the lookout for that obviously I will update you guys on if and when it becomes available and there we are done I think it looks so cute but definitely next time I need to do like a color board to make sure I'm not doing a ton of brown Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Hey door!